Well now, if it ain't Mr. Money in the Bank himself. The people's eye has been on you for a while now, my man. The Rock is uh, reasonably impressed. Emphasis on reasonably. Prep yourself, Rocky. I'll be coming for you next. Haha, <laughs> the Rock is tickled that you believe that. He don't find you cute. Dead serious, so don't be surprised when it happens. Friendly advice, bear watch yourself. As much as owning that briefcase is placing a target on the champ's back, you now have a big fat target on your ass too. I start feeling the side glances, letting the people know when you plan on cashing in. Well, the rock thinks that might keep things firmly planted in your control. Welcome back guys to another video. In this video we're back playing some more WWE 2K18 My Career Mode episode 35. Last episode we were having some fun with Clyde, Lance Alexander, and Shawn Michaels. But in this episode we're getting back to- Oh hey Dean. Uh, you've, you've really put yourself out there to see me. Oh, you didn't even say anything. How rude of you, Dean. How rude. <laughs> See you, man. <laughs> he's like, he's like, oh, oh, wait, never mind. No, he's actually getting up this time. No fear that you won over anyone else. Oh, look, dude, he actually got up this time, dude. Okay. Well, I haven't recorded a uh, WWE 2K Team My Career episode since November. So it's a little bit like, uh, a little bit weird. I forget what's happening. All right, man. Before we get started, can we agree on something? Real pieces of gold and invaluable, but impossible given her current climate of selfish, introspection, and in instinctual and caring. Too heady. Vegan bacon is a spawn of humankind's true nature of cruelty. I'm not going to touch that one. No hot shot, just want to avoid any potential conflicts. Let's have a smooth show from here on out. What do you need from me? Let's agree that you're going to let me into that crazy head of yours a little bit, so I can best highlight what it is you're doing. Done. I'm getting close to cash in my briefcase, so one mic, please? Absolutely. Come again and make sure it's electrifying. <laughs> hey, man. They are. It simply takes a certain type of person to harness and leash it. I'll get you also another promo, dude. I swear to God, when we do these stories, it's all promos. Well, yeah, as I said, I didn't record a WWE 2K18 video since November. And I haven't played the game really since then. I only played with um, the new moves pack a little bit. Didn't change any moves on Caesar or anything. I might eventually end up doing that since I like some of the new moves. But other than that, I really haven't played like a full-fledged actual match for a while now. So, yeah. You know. Okay, so let's get into this promo. Let's see what Caesar has to say. I forget like the entire storyline going on. Oh god, I dropped my phone. Oh, no. I forget this entire storyline going on right now. Like I won the money in the bank, I think. Tonight. Man, it's on now. This could honestly be about a few things. <laughs> let's find out. <laughs> I've got an announcement to make WWE Universe. I want to talk about my briefcase. I'm willing to relinquish it. That's right. I'm willing to throw all away all the hard work it took to take it, but only on one condition. If the champ will come out, out and face me tonight, right on this instant, he can have my briefcase. Oh God, Samoa Joe, Samoa Joe. <laughs> you talk about your plans for that briefcase, but I happen to have plans of my own. I think you understood what you were about last month and showed that in your victory. But I don't think you demonstrate your worthliness, worthliness of holding it. So I will propose a wager. Fight me with it on the line. My man, you got yourself a deal there. I'm willing to put my briefcase up as a collateral, but I want to make a counteroffer. If we're doing this, I don't think there's no more arena you know, what it used to is enough to contain our massive ambitions, let alone egos. Currently, this roof is way, way too low. God, raise it up. If you're strong enough to win that briefcase, you're definitely strong enough to defend it. What are you afraid of? Unless you don't believe you want it fairly, that you, like I said, don't deserve it. Quite literally put your money in the bank where your mouth is. Talking big at this point is just not enough. Yeah, 
you don't need to make a promise, a personal sure. commitment to me in front of all these WWE Universe that you are going to give me a huge, massive, mind boggling awesome fight. No B game, no phoniness in. My briefcase is a hell of a asking price. So I want to make sure you're balancing the scales correctly, buddy. Well, you're fresh okay. off a massive victory. We all understand that. You might well relax a bit. Congratulate yourself. Bask in the moment. Yeah, I can appreciate that. But if you have plans, if not for you, then for them. Everyone's waiting to see what you do. And if anything, I'm doing you a favor with a jump start. In reality, you are such a weakling that you can't even lift my briefcase. What hope would you have of me? I'd be standing there. You'd be trying to get proper grip and lifting me off the ground, not a single inch. And that inch shows all the difference between us and whose briefcase worthy. I got it. You don't. Oh, God. A kick to the nuts, dude. Oh, God. Dude, Samoa Joe going all out on Caesar. Samoa Joe. That really pissed Samoa Joe off. That really pissed him off. And now Samoa Joe is going in on Razor. Caesar, oh my god, a clothesline. Caesar's out. Caesar's out. Samoa Joe just. Samoa Joe, oh god. Caesar looks dazed. Caesar looks dazed from that. That clothesline knocked his head off, literally knocked his head off. His head came flying off, and some random dude in the crowd grabbed it and threw it back at him. He put it right back on and got right back off because he is always over. So it's all good, guys. <laughs> Caesar always goes over, by, by the way, guys. So just so you know, spoiler, Caesar, he, he, he's never going to get buried, boy. Oh look, what, what fitting Mark Henry theme song after he retired. I might do like a Mark Henry themed video. If I can. Might try like, you know. This is like a little tribute thing, you know. And of course, a freaking Nikki Bella theme comes on. Okay. I hate this theme, dude. I've reached company man level three. <laughs> uh, the M's fighting words, as we say. Hope you know that. Um... I know I have a tendency to go big or go home, but I may have gone a bit too far. Maybe that's your one, though. And a WWE Universe eats up as of nothing else. <laughs> Do you see? See, Paul, I won't be surprised if Caesar needs some medical assistance after that one, dude. He, he might need, like... He's definitely having this week off. But he's, he's so... Well, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. If you guys did enjoy this episode, make sure to leave a like and all that good jazz down below. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.